Two of my very favorite Vincent Price side projects took place in 1975, and both are music related. In March 1975, Alice Cooper released his first solo album, Welcome to My Nightmare. The third track on it is called The Black Widow and features a monologue by Vincent Price, who plays a narrator showing a group of kids around a museum of arachnids. He gets a bit over enthusiastic when discovering his prize, the Black Widow, and begins ranting and raving about the spider's superiority over man. A month later, on April 25, 1975, Vincent would once again perform with Alice Cooper, this time on a made-for-television special called Alice Cooper, The Nightmare. Alice Cooper, The Nightmare. Special guest star, Vincent Price. Vincent once again plays the part of the creepy narrator, as in the album, but this time he identifies himself as the spirit of the nightmare, there to torment young Stephen, played by Alice Cooper, who is having a nightmare. The show was quite the production, chock full of Alice songs, spooky imagery, and choreographed dancing. The special is essentially a big promotional piece for the latest Alice Cooper album and really shows the level of popularity of Cooper in the mid-70s. The album would reach number five on the Billboard charts. It's my personal opinion that Vincent's appearance on this record is the thing that pushed this into legendary status. This would not be the last time that Vincent's voice would appear on a legendary album either as another spooky performance in the 1980s would lead to even bigger success. Successor! The previous year, both Alice Cooper and Vincent Price appeared in separate episodes of the television series The Snoop Sisters, a precursor of sorts to Murder, She Wrote, about a pair of elderly investigators, played by Helen Hayes and Mildred Natwick. The episode starring Price is called A Black Day for Bluebeard and is notable for a number of reasons. In it, Price plays an aging horror star named Michael Bastion. The episode opens at a revival of one of Bastion's films, wherein Price plays a mad scientist in a movie within the movie, or the TV show in this case. During the screening, his wife is killed and Bastion is blamed. This sounds like a borrowed plot from the film Madhouse, but it in fact predates the release of Madhouse by two months. The Snoop Sisters episode debuted on March 19, 1974, and Madhouse premiered May 22, 1974. The episode is also notable in that it reunites Price with his old friend Helen Hayes, who he first co-starred with back in 1936 in the Broadway play Victoria Regina. It's up to Helen as Ernesta Snoop and her sister Mildred to clear Bastion of the false accusation of murder. It's a fun episode that's chock full of horror elements, especially at the party during Bastion's premiere, where he makes a dramatic entrance from within a coffin. Thank you. Thank you, dear friends. You're so very kind. Oh, thank you. Also appearing in this episode was Roddy McDowell, who had become one of Vincent's close friends in his later years. Vincent's next big screen appearance was the 1975 film noir, Journey Into Fear. A man named Mr. Graham, played by Sam Watterson, is an engineer for an oil company who specializes in oil exploration. The film opens with a car careening wildly down a steep mountain road. Graham and his partner are inside, the brake line of their car having been cut. Graham leaps out of the car and his partner is killed in a fiery crash. Graham takes a train to Istanbul where a second unsuccessful attempt is made on his life. It turns out that Graham has discovered the location of an oil deposit and he is now the target of an assassination plot. He is supposed to take a plane back to New York, but the Turkish police fake his death at the airport and instead book passage for him back to America on an ocean liner. There he meets an eclectic cast of characters, including a singer named Josette, played by Yvette Mamieu, a Turkish tobacco salesman named Kuvalti, played by Donald Pleasance, an obnoxious married couple, played by Shelley Winters and Stanley Holloway, and an Arabian doctor named Dervos, played by Vincent Price. We quickly learn that Graham's life is still in danger, as well as the identity of the mastermind behind the entire plot who is on board the ship with his hired killer, Barat, 
played by Ian McShane. Journey into Fear is based on the 1940 novel of the same name by Eric Ambler. It was originally made into a movie in 1943 starring Orson Welles and Joseph Cotton. The 1975 version is directed by Daniel Mann and sets the film in contemporary times. With such a superb cast, the film should have been terrific, but it ultimately falls flat. The opening and close of the film are action-packed, but the middle section of the movie lapses into a dull tedium. As usual, Vincent Price puts in a terrific performance, even if he is a bit difficult to buy as an Arab. Sam Watterson is serviceable as the lead in the film, and Donald Pleasance is fun as usual, but it's Vincent Price's performance that's the standout in this film. Next up will be Vincent's final film role of the 1970s, Scavenger Hunt.